I don't know if you can see the little mantis there, the orchid mantis on the brim of my hat, but today I am launching a contest for my YouTube subscribers. I'm going to announce it on Instagram as well. The goal being to get as many people active and involved in my YouTube account as possible. There are going to be two prizes in this contest. One, an orchid mantis, a slightly younger one than this one. I brought this larger one down so that you might be able to see it better. And that will be the first place prize, and I'll make sure that whoever wins it is also uh, supplied with some feeders for it. And then the second place prize will be this sticker donated to the contest by my friend Jesse Green at Shapes and Nature on Instagram. He also has a YouTube channel here, and his website is shapesinnature.com. The white background here peels away. That's the paper behind it. It's a really beautiful sticker, a Deriplatus lobata deadleaf mantis. And so these are some pretty cool prizes. I'm excited to kick this contest off. Um, the only requirements for entry in the contest are for you to both be a subscriber to this channel here on YouTube, and then also I request that you write a question down in the comments section below, and that will secure your entry in this contest. I will, in a subsequent video, move into answering those questions, and I will at that time also announce a winner. Uh, as far as the question that you ask in the comments down below for this video, um, it could be on a real variety of topics, anything to do with the pet bug hobby, anything to do with insects or arachnids or any pet bug groups that you wish. Um, any personal questions you might have about myself, uh, my history in the hobby, my website, um, really just anything you want to ask at all. I won't promise that I will answer every single question uh, because sometimes I'm not inspired by a question, I'm sorry to say, or sometimes a question um, is slightly inappropriate for one reason or another. It's the internet and so a lot of strange things occur. I would of course delete any questions that were uh, too inappropriate um, just to keep things family friendly here on this YouTube channel. but. I, I will say that if uh, your question is left visible, regardless of whether I answer it or not, it will secure your entry in the contest. And so just if, if I don't answer it in the follow-up video that I do, um, because I want to maximize the interactivity and the experience you're having through also answering the questions, but my answers don't have anything to do with you being eligible to win either of these two prizes. And so with that, I also want to uh, take a quick opportunity here to mention the winners from the last contest I did, which unfortunately people on YouTube were not eligible for that, but I still answered questions from Instagram, and those were my last three videos on this channel. Now, there were three videos, and for each video there's a winner, and the Winner of the second video, uh, it was very easy to determine who that winner was, and it was Isabel H. And um, I'll be notifying her through Instagram that she is the winner. And in the third video, the winner of that was the only person who followed the simple instructions, and that was Toad underscore Ish. He or she, um, they simply commented down in the video with their contact information, which I of course need. I know specifically that there were other people that could have won potentially or been eligible to win if they had simply put their contact information in the comment section of the video, but they did not do that. Now, for the first video, there were actually four people who had provided me with their contact information. And in this case, what I do to determine a winner which is also the way I will determine the winner for the next contest to see who won the Orchid Mantis or this fabulous sticker, will be by using this random number generator on YouTube. And so I'm going to change this to a four right here. There will be four people 
well, it's not letting me do that. <laughs> I didn't really practice this. I never script anything. I just turn the camera on and go for it and don't look back or don't care about mistakes. So um, I'm gonna hit this generate thing here. And even though the minimum, oh, maybe this is how I do it. There it is. Okay, so the minimum is one and the maximum is four. So if I hit this generate button and a one comes up, Berserker Glitch from Instagram will win. If it's a two, it will be Invertebrate Dude. If it's a three, it will be Robert the Lamb. And if it's a four, it will be RGB Reptiles. So I'm gonna hit generate here to see who the winner is on this Google random number generator. And the winner is number one, which was Berserker Glitch. And so I will be contacting you on Instagram to help you um, with the prize. And I'll need your contact information, obviously, so I know where to mail it. So I'm actually going to give these three winners from one from each of the three videos the opportunity to select which prize they want. Whereas the uh, prizes in this next contest, the Orchid Mantis and the uh, Mantis will be uh, will will be fixed so anyway um i'm just going to uh mention the rules again and those rules are that if you uh are subscribed to this channel and you leave a question in the comments down below for this video right here about orchid mantises you will be eligible to win these two things there's one other requirement and i'm sorry to put this restriction on the contest but this contest is only eligible to people who live in the United States, excluding Hawaii. And the reason for that is, and Puerto Rico and other non-continental islands. Um, so I will ship to Alaska, but um, I, can, I can only ship living specimens here within the United States, hence that um, restriction. And so I apologize for that. You may still ask a question. However, you simply cannot win the, uh, win the prizes. So thank you very much for participating. I do hope to do contests like this as often as on a weekly basis. And even if you don't want to ask a question, if you're excited about that and, um, just want to comment on that or about anything at all, you are welcome to do that. Uh, I always appreciate the comments. Uh, the YouTube algorithm appreciates you hitting that thumbs up button and it's important to me and it's motivating to me when you guys are interacting with my account and supporting it in those ways as much as possible. So thanks again. And that's game over right there. Hymenopus coronatus, the orchid mantis, sometimes called the pink orchid mantis. Specimens can be quite pink. They are generally white, but as they approach a molt, they will sometimes pink up quite a bit. And then for a few weeks at a minimum before the molt, they'll be very pink. And then shortly after the molt, they will be slightly pink and then be white much of the time. You can see the green, what I call a necklace on this specimen. And that's a sign that she is a female. At this instar, which I think is probably fourth instar, if this were a male, not only would that necklace be sort of a brownish red color, the wing buds would also be quite evident. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Always quite fascinating to watch them feeding. If a little bit disturbing to watch the living fly being consumed by its predator. Take this opportunity to also illustrate how to sex mantises. Do you see where the back pair of legs connects there? Actually to the thorax and just before the abdomen starts. 
insects have three body parts. The head, which is rather obvious, connects to the thorax there in the middle, where all three pairs of legs, insects have six legs, attached to the thorax, and then the abdomen there, as this mantis consumes this fly, you can actually see, sort of through the translucent body of this mantis as it feeds, the dark contents of its meal going down through the middle of its body. And it will end up there in the abdomen. Now, female mantises, we'll zoom in a little bit more here. Female mantises have six abdominal segments, and males have eight. And so you can see a sort of upside down triangular segment there, just back behind where the legs attach to the thorax. That would be the first segment to count, and just above it, the second segment, there's a little black speck of debris there on the third segment. The fourth segment, just below the reddish band there, and then the fifth segment, right above that, and then right at the top, another triangular section, that's the sixth segment here in this orchid mantis. I apologize for the shakiness here. At this magnification, it's hard to hold my hand still when I'm freehanding this. I have the mantis on my left hand, and I'm holding the camera as still as I can, the camera being my iPhone here in my right hand. And there's a juicy bit for you right there. Another interesting thing to point out, you will note that the eyes of this mantis are somewhat pinkish. At nighttime, their eyes actually darken. And I don't know if this is true or not, but because they darken, I have always suspected that it helps them to see at night. Maybe comparable in some way to the way the pupils in our eyes dilate to let more light in so that we can see better in dim conditions. See also the spiky forelegs there. Mantises, predators, and they are designed very, very perfectly for the task. Hymenopus coronatus, the orchid mantis. It is a myth, actually, that they are evolved to blend in with orchids, although no doubt they can be found on flowers of various plants in nature. It's the lobes there on their legs that sort of lend to that mythology. I'm going to zoom out here again a little bit. And so another thing to point out here, you see that this abdomen, it's somewhat plump. It could actually probably be maybe, I don't know, another third th as thick as it is. Um, I would guess that this mantis could probably consume three more flies before it decided to pass on the next one. And we'll see if I have another example here of a mantis that is maybe a little bit thinner. Like I said earlier, these mantises were both fed earlier today. Now, this one also has a similar plumpness to its abdomen. And again, if it were daytime, there wouldn't be that dark pink appearance to their pointy eyes. And you can see a little crown there between the eyes, a little point. And I believe that's what gives the species its name. Coronatus, meaning a crown. I zoomed in there a little bit so you can see it better, but then again, the camera shake. <laughs> I was just outside looking for more of the Neonura springtails. 
beautiful textured blue springtails. And so, in addition to these awkward angles, I also am a little bit chilly at the moment. I'm going to put these mantises back in here, and you can see that I'm able to put the mantis back in here carefully, push its legs down there from where the lids attach. You can see these lids have a little bit of paper towel that is glued to this, and that provides a molting surface here. I like to keep them in containers this size when they are as small as they are, because it means that they're going to be a lot closer to the prey that we offer them. And I'm going to set the camera down here just for a moment and pull out another specimen. These ones are second instar, and they feature in another video I did on YouTube the other day in the context of a contest. And uh, I'll mention also that I am giving away one of these orchid mantises, one this size, and doing a contest for them here on YouTube. So you can see that this second instar mantis is considerably smaller than its fourth or fifth instar counterpart here. And so I would typically feed these smaller ones with fruit flies, whereas these larger ones were feeding house flies at this time. Now you can feed them pet store crickets, small pet store crickets, and of course you'll need crickets that are pinheads or one week or two week crickets for the smaller ones. But many people in the hobby will advise you that feeding crickets to your mantises is always a little bit risky because sometimes crickets will make your mantises sick and produce what hobbyists and scientists alike call the brown goo of death. And it's believed that it's a bacterial infection that is passed from crickets to mantises. Many people find that if they purchase crickets from the pet store and then feed them a healthy diet for a while, fruits, vegetables, maybe some dog food or other kinds of pet foods, that that will sort of flush the systems of the crickets and make them healthy enough to feed to mantises, but um, always a little bit of a risk. And certainly their response, their feeding response is better to flying prey than it ever is to crawling prey. This little orchid mantis here And that didn't take long. Fly control. These guys really help me out in the summertime. It's feeding time. For two female orchid mantises. But it's more than that. It's breeding time. At bugs in cyberspace. Got to keep these ladies busy. Speaking of busy, it's your time, man. It's your time. Orchid mantis, an adult female, fertilized by a male, I don't know, maybe five weeks ago. And some good news, not the best angle to see it at here, but that is an egg case down there. And so, I hope in a month or so, She'll be a mother, and lots of people on Instagram will have baby orchid mantises.
It happened again. We were going to separate those ghost mantises out. And more orchid mantises hatched. <laughs> oh, it's the case up on the top. I thought it was this one right here. Oh, which one is it? It's this one oh. right here. You can see one coming out oh, just yeah. right now. Do you see it, Christy? Mm -hmm. That little cylinder, that little membrane around it. It looks like oh, yeah. looks like a worm. The legs haven't actually emerged from it yet. <laughs> Well, people are going to be happy about this because I was hoarding all the ones that came out of the last aid case. Was it still only a few that came out of that one? Yeah, only about a dozen came out of that last one. Well, this looks like a good group. Oh, yeah, one of the does. ghost mantises is eating one of them. And more of them are coming out. Where? Right in the middle here. It's like hanging from a thread and eating Oh, it. yeah, it is. <laughs> It was like, hey, mm. if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.